to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Valentine's Day video. Pink love. Ugh. Today I'm going to be showing you two room decor DIYs as well as two treats that you can make as well as a makeup look and outfit if you're going out with your friends or your boyfriend. It doesn't matter. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Starting with these red velvet heart cakes, here's all you will need. After setting the oven to 350 to preheat, mix all of your ingredients together. Then pour into a large baking tray. I use a lasagna tray. <laughs> Put into the oven and bake for 25 minutes. Once it's done, pull it out of the oven and after letting it cool, transfer it to a cutting board. Next, using a heart-shaped cookie cutter, I cut out my cakes. After transferring them to a cooling rack, I melted the chocolate just in the microwave, spreading it on with a knife, letting it drip over the sides. Then, adding a design or sprinkles, and you're done! This next one is just a cute, healthy option. I just cut up some strawberries and pulled out some grapes and put them onto skewers. Yes, they have butterflies, but they were the only ones I could find and they're easy enough just to pop right off. <music> to start off these conversation heart coasters, I am just folding a piece of paper in half, drawing half a heart shape and cutting it out. Just like when you were in grade school. This will be my template. Now tracing that onto the cork and cutting it out. I chose purple and yellow paint and put two coats of that on top of the cork. The text on the hearts are usually red, so instead of paint I went for marker, just to keep it neater. I chose the sayings, be mine and cutie pie. Now this one's simple. I just cut the string to my desired length and placed the flowers where I wanted them to be. Then just hot glued them down. And that's really it! Guys, I have no idea what I am doing here. I'm no makeup artist, I just do what works for me. But it might work for you too. After pulling my hair back and moisturizing, I'm dotting the NYX HD Studio Primer on my face and just rubbing that in. I mix two foundations to get my perfect color. I use Rimmel Wake Me Up in Ivory and CoverGirl Fit Me in Porcelain. Using a Still Spa Essentials brush to blend that in. I also use two different concealers, Sephora's Soothing and Brightening Concealer for under eye circles, as well as Sephora's Bright Future for spots. For bronzer, I just use the Rimmel 002 Smoky Brune Eyeshadow Palette using color number 4 and a pointed brush to give a slight contour to my cheekbone. Followed by a loose powder by Pure in my T-zone and cheeks to give a slight shimmer using a powder brush. Now to set it all, I'm using CoverGirl's Oil Control Press Powder in Buff Beige. Blush! I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush and Beauty Control blush and applying that on the apples on my cheek. Now onto eyes. Already primed from NYX, I always use the Flirt A Wink of Pink as my base. As it's Valentine's Day, I found it appropriate to use CoverGirl's Wine and Roses palette, starting with light burgundy in the outer corners and crease, then Rosa in the middle towards the inner, then blend. Next, my go-to for the inner corners is CoverGirl's French Vanilla. Finally, I'm using Plum Wine from the CoverGirl Wine and Roses along the lash line at the outer corners and blending the final look. For eyeliner, I use NYC Waterproof Pencil Liner in black to tightline only the top of my eyes, as well as Essence's Kaja pencil in white in the inner corners. I don't normally do my brows, basically because it scares me that they probably end up so bad. I just use CoverGirl's Natural Lash to tame them. After curling my lashes, I go for two mascaras, Avon's Super Extend Infinitize, and CoverGirl's Flamed Out. To finish up the look, I use Wet n Wild's Spotlight Red Lipstick. And that's the finished look! The only time that it's really okay, in my mind at least, to wear pink and red together 
is Valentine's Day, so why not take that opportunity? I'm wearing this cable knit sweater from Walmart, paired with this skater skirt from Forever 21, black nylons that I just picked up at the dollar store, a floppy hat from Sammy Dress, burgundy Lolita knockoffs from Stitches, and this fringe purse from H&M. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and leave a comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye! ...of the video. So you're getting a little sneak peek right now. Uh, hey!